Uh, this is Paul. Yes. Um, you know, I started looking at those tort uh, lawsuits. Yeah. Could you get me the professional liabilities for uh, insurances? Yeah. Of child support services in every state of the United States. Mm -hmm. As well as the professional liability insurance for those in child protective services. Yeah. In each and every state of the United States. Now, there could be some significant malpractice, tort, civil lawsuits for threatening me with jail or in prison for the uh, child support that the court awarded my wife. Yeah. Without me getting notice of court hearings. Yeah. Without me having notice and opportunity to be heard when issuing protection orders. Ouch. Without anybody asking me where my son should go to school mm -hmm. or what grade they should be in. So, now I'm going to need to know the liability assurance of the mm -hmm. welfare department, Ouch. the state child support services. Mm -hmm. See, this child support service that was awarded to my wife in 2012 or was it 13? Yeah. It was 2013. Yeah. I can get the actual court record out. Yeah. I didn't get any notice of court hearings. And myself finding out in the last three days that two of my sons are going to graduate high school. Yes. Approximately 19 and a half years old. And then another son's going to graduate at 19 and one month old. Too. When I was uh, 17, I graduated from high school. I was an exchange student. Yes. I turned 18 the summer after graduation. Yeah. Now, for the son deacon that thinks that, well, I should wait until I'm 18 and one month old. Yeah. I think he could really push himself and do a 17 and one month. And then <laughs> I was thinking about running start. Yes. You know, uh, having sons that are going to graduate after uh, 19 years old. Mm hmm how does that affect their ability to go to Running Start and be involved in community colleges? Yes. Now, I'd like to know every high school student yes, that participated in Running Start that actually got their two-year degree right and uh, was under the age of 18 when they graduated from high school and they got their associate's degree. Yes. So get me all the child support and the actual ages of those that have paid child support for the last 30 years mm -hmm. and their actual age of graduating and then their actual age of completing their associate's degree because I owe for college and university. Mm -hmm. Now for all of those college and universities, there's, there's what's known as some investor protection liability. Which you know these municipal bonds that I've mentioned in the past, these state-issued uh, revenue bonds? Yes. Why don't you get me the debt of each and every state of the United States and <laughs> their actual credit rating? Ouch. Now, I know this revenue that you say that I have to pay right now. I'm going to want to know all the tax-free bonds of each and every county. Yes. That's going to have to pay me an incredible amount of money. <clears throat> Because of the full faith and credit of the United States Constitution being extended, yes, to all disillusions of marriage that are issued by each and every state, yes, and then child support orders that are enforceable in every state, territory, and possession of the United States. Now, I emailed each of the states of the United States of America, and they said, oh, we don't have jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. I think that full faith and credit comes into play as it's going to affect the credit ratings of each state. Now, you think I'm I'm making this bigger than it actually is going to be? Why don't you give me my sons and you'll fucking find out. Mm -hmm. Now, I need to know the actual debt of each state, yes, each county, mm -hmm, each city, foo, and their actual revenue because... This uh, professional liability for the employees of each government of the United States, yes, yes, yes. it's going to infect the investors that would have expected judges to remove their court orders when they found out about the child abuse of enrolling children in school two grades behind what they should have been. Coach. Now, 
I know this labor and employment liability where you said, well, why don't I just get a job, Fooch? Why don't I just pay her some money? <clears throat> I'm thinking, yes, that it has affected my labor and employment, knowing that you would garnish my wages, yes, from any employer, and then I would be paying my wife child support <clears throat> for her having enrolled my sons in grades two years behind what they should be, Fooch. Now I'm going to sue the state, Pooch, the Department of Labor, Pooch, the Commerce Department of the Federal Government, <laughs> for the idea of garnishing the wages of those that have child support orders issued against them yeah, without any due process. <laughs> so as to support a wife, yes, that has intentionally caused mental, <laughs> physical, <laughs> and emotional damage to my sons, as well as the academic disability that she's caused for seven years and five months. Now, I think Zachary could have been a running star, Pooch, if he was a senior now, or maybe last year if he'd have been a junior. Oh, Bishop might have been able to be a running start, and as a father, yes. I have to consider the expenses of higher education, yes. Why don't we get me all community colleges, yes in colleges mm -hmm. that offer running start programs for every high school of the United States, yes, 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 where fathers had influenced their children that their education was more important than their athletics, pooch. Now, I'm one of these, yes, that I find out that you're doing subpar work, yes. I'd have cut them off from their sports and I'd have made them get busy with their homework. Now, these civil rights, if, including the disability of my sons for being retarded for seven and a half years, <laughs> I'm sure they have some emotional dysfunction. <laughs> they are not been uh, mentally challenged for seven and a half years because you were so focused on me paying child support, <laughs> me getting a job so you could garnish my wages, me going to jail so as to cover up your crime. <laughs> then there's that privacy. <laughs> How much of the privacy is being violated because of you issuing court orders, yes, child support orders, <clears throat> where you didn't give me notice of the court hearings, where you said I was crazy and my sons were doing so good in school considering they were never challenged as students. <laughs> it actually hasn't forced them to have to really try that hard, has it? <laughs> The truth is they're two years behind everybody else in the same age group Ouch. because you never allowed me as a father to make any of the custody decisions about what I think is important as a father. Now this football playing that they've been doing, <clears throat> I'd have cut them off so talking fast right now. <laughs> and considering my inability, yes, to get employment without paying $180,000 of back child support. And then there's the welfare benefits that welfare paid my wife. Yes. What's that? Let's add that up. You, as welfare, paid my wife to damage, abuse, exploit, and kidnap my sons. So they ended up retarded by the time they graduated from high school. Now, there's antitrust liability, such as the unfair competition. Mm -hmm. You know, I've documented quite a few businesses that I'd like to be involved in, from, well, heat pumps and the upside-down cow, <laughs> to the desalinators, to the hot roof technology, to the wobbler generator. Yes, to incinerators that use a ramjet. Pooch. Now, I'm going to have to sue you as a state. Yes, every state. Pooch for allowing for my wife to retard the development of my sons for the last <laughs> months. Now, when I started saying that it's going to affect the actual investors in each and every state of the United States, <laughs> you know, I'll get you all to triple D, won't I? Coach, you'll have an F rating by the time I get done. <clears throat> if there isn't a state in the United States, <clears throat> this credit rating that you really don't value as independent states of the United States, <clears throat> You know, when you start, oh, I'm sorry, the citizens of the United States got bankrupted because right now. I want you to understand, you stupid fucking government employees. There's some collusion in the prevention of me marketing my innovations. Now, you're going to remove your fucking fraud. 
and you're going to give me my sons. And then I'm going to sue each and every state employee if that has okayed the welfare pooch that never asked about the actual... Ooh, ooh.